So this new golf client, client uh, Jamie, you, the first thing I took a look at is Jamie had trouble with this weight shift. And a lot of it had to do with, um, you know, we've got his before um, technique on the left and his after technique on the right. So kind of the first thing we need to do is is get this weight shift obviously straightened out because with this weight shift going backwards instead of forwards, the bottom of the swing ends up moving from, you know, if we just take them at setup, the bottom of the swing ends up moving from about here to about here, which is behind this golf ball, which you don't want. So, it, it, you know, if this weight isn't shifting forward, the swing is going to bottom out behind the golf ball, meaning he hits ground, then ball. And on rubber mats, you might get away with it, but on the ground, you're not going to get away with it. So we actually work. Um, this was actually kind of pure online um, analysis and help to uh, to Jamie, and I was able to to help him close the club face correctly, which allowed him to um, shift his weight. So we actually got him now closing the club face correctly, and his weight is now shifting forward to the front foot, <clears throat> which now keeps his the bottom of his swing. So if we start, you know, if we at setup here, the bottom of his uh, whole swing is going to be about here. And we'll go back. It's basically right underneath your heart um, is where the swing should bottom out. So even with your turn back and then turn through, that should be the bottom of the swing, which we can see is because as he comes into impact, we do have a little forward uh, club shaft lead now that we worked on closing the club face correctly and his weight gets to shift to the front foot. So instead of um, this move here, we now have the weight shifting forward and which helps, it helps a few things. It helps power, um, it helps club head ball contact, um, and it helps club head speed through impact. So um, having the correct weight shift, but the correct weight shift can't happen without um, a few other things falling into place. So, um, you know, this is, uh, I'm really proud of uh, the work that this guy put in, in terms of um, ingraining the the technique that we worked with and that I, the advice that I gave them over the internet and good impact position, good post impact position, um, still a great move through impact. Some things I would change through here with uh, kind of this move with what the hands are doing uh, at this point, that's okay. Still some work to do, but much improved from where we came from.